Hello. So in this video, we'll see, we'll be seeing about the practicals of Smart Quota. So for Smart Quota, you'll have to get into the File System, File System tab, and below that you have Smart Quota. Click on the Smart Quota, and here you'll see the um, the activated license option. So as this is a software which is licensed one, you can see whether this particular software is licensed or not. So as I'm using the trial version it's not showing anything or it will show whether this particular software is licensed or not here it will show if this particular is software is not licensed it will show a green i mean yellow symbol stating that activate license so here you can see the total quotas the directory quota user quota default user default group so this default user and default group are nothing but by default if you are not giving any um, any user or uh, I mean if you're not specifying any uh, user quota or group quota according to that it will take it defaultly So here there are no quotas set. So on SMB share creation we saw We created an SMB share. So let's see that particular share and now we are going to set up a quota For that particular SMB share. So here you can see the shares that created by us SMB CLI test share so now we will set up um, quota for that particular um, test share. So before that, let's do one thing. Let's try to map this particular share and check the size of the share. So I'm mapping the share. Now this particular share does not have any quota applied on that. So here we see it shows 56.1 GB. So that is the entire cluster space. So here you can see the total cluster space 56.2. So now we are going to set up a quota for this particular directory. And again, we'll check the size of that particular directory. So I'm going to apply a directory quota on that. So here you can see the quota type, directory quota, user quota, and group quota. Select the directory quota and select the folder. So this is the folder. And so for quota accounting, if you want to select this snapshot storage as well, let's say if this particular folder is having a snapshot and you want to calculate that particular space as well, then check on this box. If not, leave that. And if you want to select the data production overhead, I mean, so this particular folder has a, let's say, uh, the wo I mean the data production set on this particular test share and you want to calculate the overhead space as well then select this option or else just you can leave that coming down quota limits so here we are going to specify a limit so the first option track storage without specifying a storage limit so this will not put any limit but still it will track the the amount of storage used by the particular folder so now we are going to specify a limit select this option so here you can see there are three different storage um, quota limits so advisory limit soft limit and hard limit so what is an advisory limit uh, advisory limit is nothing but a limit where you can specify a user or you know, notify a user that I mean kind of alerting a user so that the user will uh, do some cleanup or increase the space so that he will not reach the hundred percentage so it's about like 80 or 90 percent according to the, uh, the your environment standard you can set up so advisory storage limits nothing but advising the customer to do some action on the share before it gets filled out. So 
the limit is that we can set up so I am going to set up eight MB and soft limit. Soft limit is nothing but a storage limit in which the user will not be able to do. A, if this particular limit has been reached, then user will not be able to uh, do a new write once this grace period has completed let's say we are setting a storage soft limit as 9 mb and if the user has reached 9 mb the notification will be keep on sent to the user and still there is no action taken on that particular um, storage i mean the capacity then there will be a grace period that we can give here let's say i'm giving four days so till this four days it will it will see once this four days is completed, the user will not be able to access the data. So, usually we don't give this soft limit, we give only the hard limit and and the uh, uh, advisory limit as uh, we, we, want, we don't want the user to uh, encounter any issues on the production uh, data. So, coming down, we have a hard limit. So, select down with hard limit is nothing but the actual limit that you want to put to that particular folder let's say i want to limit this particular folder to only 10 mb so more than more than this 10 mb the uh, share will not be used so advisory limit is 8 mb and the hard limit is 10 mb coming down you have a quota notification so at what level you want to notify the customer regards to their uh, share usage so here there are custom options i mean custom notification rules you can create create a notification rule saying that so the rule type so th these are the rule types so advisor limit so there are two notify when quota is exceeded or continue to notify after quota limit is exceeded so this advisor limit is 8 MB for our in our case so notify when quota limit is exceeded so if this 8 MB is exceeded so this particular uh, rule will work and the quota I mean, notification will be sent to the user and continue to notify after the quota limit is increased so if you still want to still the user is keep on continuing the data the data usage after the quota has been reached then this particular rule will pop up and keep on sending the email until the advisory limit uh, quota has been reduced <coughs> sorry and coming down you have an option called notify owner and notify another contact so here you can give the email id of the uh, person whom you want to notify or you can give the uh, distribution list of uh, a group of users using this particular share schedule so if you want to schedule a daily so this sends an alert daily at this particular time and you can give a message template so this message template you can specify any uh, text which will say that uh, which will inform the user that uh, so and so action has to be taken and uh, so and so your share is getting filled at this particular capacity so you can customize your own message and you can put it on a text text uh, text notepad and send it as an email so once you are done create the rule so we have done so here we have set the hard limit as 10 mb and the soft i mean advisory limit as 8 mb for this particular folder now i'm going to create the quota so here you can see usage is showing as 29 bytes and when this particular this color symbol comes then it, it seems that it means that the space on that particular folder is being calculated by one of us so it's not yet completed so here you can see gathering information so it means that the ga it's gathering the amount of uh, space used once we refresh so this should go in some time so here you can see the advisory limit is 8 MB hard limit is 10 MB and we have not set any soft limit so now again we will revisit the share so 
Now the share uh, capacity is showing us uh, 56.1 GB. The reason being that there is an option um, that we have missed to select. So on the quota, if you check the the hard storage limit, the below that you have an option called size of the show available space as size of the cluster or the size of the hard threshold. So when you select this option size of the cluster, this will show the entire cluster's capacity. So for that you have to select the option as size of the hard threshold. So the reason is that whenever uh, uh, no, there may be few shares where uh, they will they won't uh, they won't uh, use the entire cluster's capacity, but on the back end uh, there should be a quota that has to be set. So for that purpose you can select this option. So for now we will go with the size of the hard threshold. So now I am going to save this. So once I have saved, now let's check that. I'll refresh. So now it's showing us a 10 MB. So there is no file inside that. So that's why it's showing us uh, 0 and 10 MB is free out of 10 MB. Now let's see how to increase the capacity of this particular, I mean the smart quota, quota of this particular share so when you want to increase the cap um, uh, space of the smart quota go to view edit and select the option edit now go to the hard storage limit now just check let's say if the customer wants to increase this particular uh, shares capacity to 50 mb now you need to uh, do a calculation that existing is 10 mb and the um, capacity that's going to be increased is 40 so all total it will have a 50 so now let's change this to 50 MB save change now let's go ahead and check the capacity of the share whether it has changed yes so now you can see that it's showing us a 50 MB out of 50 MB free so this is how you increase the um, hard limit threshold the same way you can increase the advisory limit as well just go ahead and edit and you can increase the advisory limit here so that's it for the lecture we'll see you in the next lecture